that's Jeff. And she's Angela. And we're Pure Detour. In 2021, mid-COVID pandemic, we had a midlife crisis. So we quit our jobs, sold everything we own, and left Canada to travel the world full time. Right now, we're exploring cities throughout northern Morocco, such as Fez, Magnes, Kenitra, Rabat, and Casablanca. And today we are in Kenitra and it's Angela's favorite time of year. Food tour. We are kicking off this food tour with a breakfast stop here in Kenitra at a place called Level Cafe. Let's go. One of the things that I love about here in Morocco is everywhere you go and you order a breakfast anywhere, you get these fresh juices and they're fantastic. This breakfast is huge. We've got three eggs, sausage, two kinds of olives, uh, some smoked turkey, two kinds of cheese, salad, olive oil, and fruit salad. Good sausage. The sausages are awesome. Oh! <laughs> Our server just came out here. We did not order these, and I'm pretty sure they are not part of the menu that we got. But Very sweet. while I love a sweet breakfast, uh, unlike North America, every country we've been to so far, uh, very small little bits of nibbles all over the place. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty cool that you get sweet, savory, you get this big mixture of everything that's going on. It's great. And olives at breakfast. Uh -huh. Couldn't be up here. And whenever you can get a fresh vegetable in, take advantage of it because you don't know when you'll see them again. <laughs> and if you do see them again, they may be the consistency of baby food. You guys watch our channel you know i'm a sweet freak so watch me eat the three-year-old's pancake right now <laughs> i'm not gonna eat that it's adorable Cheers. i'm a fatty all right let's show you this you want to show me that every bit of it gone so that closes off level cafe fantastic food can't say enough good things about it all of that food that you saw us eat just now less than nine u.s dollars great deal We're having lunch at this place called El Bite Achami. It's a Syrian restaurant, which is awesome. We saw that it was just around the corner from our Airbnb and we want to try it out. And this is something we've never tried before. We saw it on the menu. It's called Mamata and it's like a dip and it's made of ground up nuts and roasted red pepper. It's got olive oil and balsamic on top of it. It's amazing. So these are kebab and they bring out these little dips, super spicy little sauce that you got here. Dip them into that there. It's the ground meats that are inside of it. The spicy sauce going along with it. They're deep fried to perfection. These are absolutely amazing. Superb. That's one of my favorite things. And this is a patouche salad, which is just like a mixed salad, and it's also got these like crunchy uh, fried pita pieces on it, like pita chips. Uh, the dressing, though, is superb. It's got like this sweetness to it. I think, pretty sure they put honey in it, olive oil. It is perfectly seasoned and dressed. It's amazing. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I am a fan of the grains. I'm a huge fan of bulgur. Uh, what was this called? Frikette. Uh, we're gonna give this a try right now. Delicious. This lamb is amazing. Very simple. It's just really all you taste on it is like saltiness, but they've done it so perfectly. It's just fall off the bone and tender and amazing. So tender.
As we finish off our meal at Albayat Chami, we were just sitting here and discussing with ourselves. Uh, when we first arrived in Kenitra, our Airbnb owner, we asked him, where should we eat in Kenitra? And he turned to us and he says, Rabat. We're so glad he was wrong about that. We're finding excellent food here. Finishing off our meal with tea, as is usual around here. Um, but we've been in Morocco a couple months and we're getting used to the Moroccan style tea. And because this is a Syrian place, the style of tea is different and delicious. Just finished up at El Bayt Achami. It's our very first time with Syrian food. Certainly won't be our last. That was fantastic. Impromptu fill, uh, food scene that we're gonna have right now. <laughs> Um, it has been raining in Kenitra quite a bit. We are doing a lot of work right now, uh, editing videos, everything else that we do, and we've ordered Glovo, uh, which is... Uber Eats. Uber Eats, yeah. It's an Uber Eats. It's what works over on this side of the world. Weirdly enough, we've ordered just cheeseburgers and french fries. That's not weird. So I have this thing where when I'm traveling and I'm always eating like the cuisine of the, the country that I'm in, uh, every now and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I just need a cheeseburger, right? Uh, so we ordered this and it came here and it is like the biggest, messiest, juiciest cheeseburger I've ever seen. Look, they like, even give you gloves. <laughs> like look at that, it's such a <laughs> messy burger. She took a bite of the cheeseburger and said it's probably the best cheeseburger she's ever had in her life. We're getting the best cheeseburger ever in Morocco. Well, I haven't had this yet, so let's see what all the fuss is about here. Put the gloves on. <laughs> it's probably a really good idea. All right, both of us gloved up, let's go. Um, your standard lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, but they also have like cheese <laughs> sauce, barbecue sauce, what they call the chef sauce, caramelized onions, jalapenos. Jalapenos. Yeah. All right, let's go. I told you. Oh my God. It's a killer burger. <laughs> the gloves are necessary. Yeah, a little bit of heat going on with it. From the jalapenos, the burgers cook perfectly. It's, I don't know if that's gonna show up because our light is not very good inside of here. It's a delicious burger. Amazing burger. That's pretty awesome. It's one, it is definitely one of the top burgers I've ever had. It's good. Mm, burger cheers. Om nom nom, I need to wipe my face. <laughs> We're at this place called Chiwati Riyad Naji. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they're a traditional Moroccan place here in Kenitra. Let's try it. Uh, as usual, starting with a Moroccan salad, it's usually just like finely chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions, lightly dressed with olive oil. It's delicious. Starting off with two traditional Moroccan classics. One of them is a chicken and lemon tagine, which we have yet to show you on film. It's about time. Next is a beef tangia, which is a slow braised beef in a pot that they pour out in front of you at the table, all sizzling and hot. Just finishing up with Chiwati Riyad Naji. I think that's how you say it. My favorite part was when she took the tea and like poured it from over her head. That was a show and also really delicious tea. Everything was great there. Let's see what else we can get into. We have stopped into Dahlia Cafe here in Kenitra, very close to our Airbnb. Let's give this a shot. All right, so one thing about Morocco, um, and I'm guessing that that has to do um, with a lot of the French being here, is they have savory crepes, which are awesome. My dad used to have a crepe restaurant in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Hey, Dad. So that's got like ground meat and cheese inside. 
pretty good. You're allowed to just say it's meh. It's, it's good. A steak and it comes with a little mushroom sauce here. Which is good because Angela won't eat this. At least the mushroom sauce. I'll eat it. Let's give it a go. It's good? Yeah, it's good. It's tasty. Everywhere we've been in Morocco that we've gotten french fries, the french fries are top notch. That many great french fries. Mm -hmm. Hope that people in other countries are going to watch some of our videos and challenge us because we're, we're coming right now. Morocco's got the best french fries and they've got the best cheeseburger we've ever had in our lives. Who'd have thought? What countries has got better? Let us know. It looks good. The tuna is good actually. I tried it. Mmm. Really good. Seems they don't quite have the hang of pasta salad. What? It's just pasta with salad on it. There's no dressing on it. Hit the like button below if you notice that Jeff bites his fork at least once in every food tour video. At least once. <laughs> okay, here, try this to pipe. It's okay. It's not anything mind blowing or anything, but it's good. I mean, it would be filling. The craft single on top of it really sets it off. <laughs> Just so you know, usually our food tours are split over a couple of days because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think other YouTubers might even do all of it in one day, and I don't know how they do it. Yeah, one of my favorite people on YouTube that does food is Mark Reams. How does that little guy eat as much as he does? I can't eat anymore. I think we ate some pretty good food here in Kenitra. Uh, maybe it was a joke what our Airbnb host told us uh, to go to Rabat if you want to eat good food in <laughs> Kenitra. Uh, but overall, we had a pretty good dining experience here. Yeah, we sure did. And you guys be sure to like and subscribe so you guys can follow along and see what we eat next. Bye.